Hey Dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have some tea here for you today that might be a little bit interesting. We're going to talk about little baby V being a little bit clumsy, or maybe very clumsy. Hurting himself again, we can't bear to see V hurt himself again constantly. He can only hurt himself so many times before we just want to wrap him up in bubble wrap and just be like, enough, stand there, don't do anything. But it's going to be a fun tea here today. We also have Jungkook and BTS apparently collabing with Selena Gomez. Sort of, I'm shook by this. This one's a very interesting one. We're going to be digging deep for this one. So let's get into it. Let's jump into it. It. If you are into this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to so be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you use a hater, like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now, let's jump into it. Y'all know the drill. I have to give a little bit of preface and context to this. So if you're a new little dumpling joining, you can still be caught up and know what is going on. You can still sit your butt down and we can still have a nice kiki. If you did not know or wasn't aware, BTS has a reality type of show like BTS Run and Bon Voyage. These are series that you can find on VLive and sometimes leaked on other sites as well. And sometimes, if you're lucky, you can find little bits and clips on Weverse too. That's kind of cool. These are fun shows to watch. You really get to know the boys from these shows. They're always super funny, super clumsy, super themselves. And us armies know that content like this and seeing them kind of in their natural habitat is a little bit rare. BK doesn't give us too many of these contents for free. Like the free stuff ain't as intimate as the stuff that you pay for, you know what I mean? So stuff like BTS Run and Bon Voyage definitely definitely feel like premium type of content. And this content is definitely out there for free for people to see. Wait, you know what? I take it back. I don't want Big Hit to suddenly start charging for this type of content. It's not premium content, okay? But anyway, fast forward to about last week. They had the BTS Run episode 101. Wow, can we celebrate that they have 101 episodes? And when that episode came out, almost at the same time, a Big Hit staff accidentally leaked episode 102. So many armies were able to click play and kind of watch episode 102 and enjoy it. Most armies actually did a really good job at not not spoiling it, which I was very surprised about. They kept it a secret and just shared like little screenshots of kind of the episode. Most people were definitely very excited about like kind of the Taekook moments that you saw in the little screenshots. Because you got to see Taeyang and Jungkook kind of together in the kitchen and being cute, hurting themselves might I add, but being cute. Now given that this content is free, it was very interesting to see that because a lot of armies felt like, wow, it's rare to see kind of Taekook kind of together doing their Taekook thing in free content. Big Hit is definitely smart because they know a lot of people want to see Taekook moments, so they put those Taekook moments in premium content. But you let this one slip out, ha ha ha. In fact, right after the leak of the episode, Taekook actually started trending on Twitter. And it was just from these like little snippet pictures that were there. Imagine that. I just want to clarify something. Whatever your opinion of Taekook is absolutely fine. I was hearing some armies saying that shipping makes BTS uncomfortable. And you know what? I will not be shipping them in that way until they physically come out and say something. When I refer to Taekook, I'm referring to the action of Taeyang and Jungkook together. And I personally can still have my opinions. I just won't say anything. But once the official BTS run episode dropped, episode 102. They should just title it Take Cook. It dropped a couple days ago and we were finally able to see kind of these moments that everyone was talking about on Twitter. Like you see these moments on Twitter, you're like, oh my god, is that real? What's going on? And then you finally see it like live. Kind of like seeing a celebrity in real life after you've seen them for so long on TV. Oh my god, I thought you was just screen people and now you real life people too. But now back to the episode, literally get Taeyang and Jungkook out of the kitchen because Jungkook and Taeyang in a kitchen is literally a mess. Both of them are so clumsy and so goofy when they are together. Like literally clumsy on their own, but when they're together, they're even more clumsy. They try even less to not be clumsy when they're with each other. It's hilarious. You have V here hitting himself, hurting himself. Now, if you've ever hit yourself like this, you know, you get it, you feel the agony. I can feel this video. You dream, you desire being stabbed more than you desire the feeling of that. Tang, please be more careful. You need that part of your body to like dance and sing and live. Try not to hurt yourself too much. But I actually full heartedly believe if Jungkook and Taeyang were not actually in the kitchen together at the same time, goofing off and doing whatever, as in it was like Taeyang and Jin or something, Taeyang would definitely be hitting and hurting himself a lot less, would not be as goofy, would not be as careless, and Taeyang would actually not hurt himself. But clumsy and clumsy go together, so that is why they are so close. But like, can I join you though? Like, how do I sign up to be third clumsy person? Can I speak to a manager about this to make this happen? Anybody? This not being a third person is just unacceptable. I can't deal with this anymore. Initially, a lot of armies were actually concerned that Big Hit was going to be removing some of the goofy Taekook moments, but it seemed like the fun Taekook moments that were there that were initially seen, like initially seen when the episode was leaked, still happened to be there when it was officially released. I guess in my mind, I wouldn't think that Big Hit would cut those moments out. I feel like maybe in like the free videos, you know, Taeyang and Jungkook aren't interacting as much as they would in like the premium content. So in which case the premium content, they're allowed to kind of show more Taekook moments. I don't think necessarily Big Hit is trying to 
to always cut them out. That's my opinion. I do know sometimes Bicut cuts out some of these moments, but overall I think that if it's there, they usually will keep it in because it's funny and great. But this actually makes me think that the leak, the leak of the episode 102 might have been done intentionally, you know, to get a little bit of publicity on the show. Like when it was released, Taekook started trending and then they took it down and privated it. Then a week later, they finally, of course, released it. And people who were excited about Taekook and didn't know about the show obviously came over to see and watch it. And of course, there's a lot of people who are bigger fans of Taekook than they are probably of the BTS run show. I mean, conspiracy theory, what do you think? It's very smart marketing and I have to say it worked. I think the video is doing very well, but you can't really tell because anything with BTS in it is going to do well. But speaking of BTS being in everything, we actually do have Selena Gomez's music video where BTS was actually in it, sort of. Okay, so you'll love this. This is like a little bit of a theory that we have to get into and kind of talk about. So it might sound a little bit crazy, but just hold with me. All right, you'll get it. It is, of course, a theory. I don't think Selena Gomez purposely came out and completely like said anything about this. She didn't make an official statement or a confirmation, but you'll let me know what you think and if this is too big of a stretch, because I don't think it is. And there's a lot of people also talking about this too. So it's not like I'm just like pulling it out of my butt. It's like people are actually discussing this as a thing that could be real. So now I have to give a little bit more context. So I need to go back. And every time I go back, I get a lot of comments being like, you're talking about old news. No, I got to give context to what the new news is about with the old news. April 10th is when Selena Gomez released her music video, Boyfriend. And it was cool, it's whatever. I don't really listen to Selena Gomez, so I actually didn't know it was released. But she actually released a doll version of said music video a couple days ago. And it copies her original Boyfriend music video. Like everything looks exactly the same. It's just dolls in replace of Selena and all the characters in the original music video. And they also created like a doll-like set to kind of mimic the set that was in the original music video. One of the original shots you notice in the official music video is kind of Selena Gomez at like a dinner with her date. But in the doll, music video it looks like Selena's date was replaced by the BTS Mattel Jin doll like oh my god gotta keep an eye out for Selena or she might be an armier very clever very cool but then you're probably like oh Dave that's a bit of a coincidence don't you think well coincidence this if you dig a little bit deeper you'll actually see this kind of clothing rack scene which I find very interesting and you'll notice that Jungkook's blazer is there and this is the blazer from the idol era of BTS this cannot be done by accident that is a very specific and unique looking blazer to have that exact blazer in doll format in doll clothing is very very weird they had to literally go and find that fabric find that pattern and stitch a tiny version of that blazer like the director was a genius for putting that in there these like little bits and pieces of kind of Easter eggs funny enough like I don't know if Selena has a lot of the same fans as BTS does so I don't know it's very interesting how she knew it was going to work so I'm very curious what Selena was thinking about when she put this together is there perhaps kind of a real life collaboration that's coming up soon and this is kind of just like like teasing that collaboration. Maybe, we don't know. But am I ready for it? Absolutely. Going on to kind of the third one that I found that was very interesting, you actually do have this bar scene here. This was of course in the idol era. I think all of the references in Selena Gomez's music video of BTS have been of the idol era. And Jungkook during the idol era kind of had hair like that. And we also know that BTS and Big Hit are trying to promote their dolls. So maybe the conspiracy theory actually isn't too far off. Maybe this is what they're actually doing. It was a way to get people to talk about BTS's dolls, which is very true. I mean, BTS dolls really didn't get their kind of moment. Big Hit also knows that armies will find this and will talk about it, so it's definitely something that they knew would be a smart move. And like if armies even see a hint of something that looks like BTS, they're going to talk about it. So it's a great way to kind of drum up publicity on the doll. Makes you want it, right? I don't know, maybe I want it now. Do I have a place on my desk for dolls? Absolutely not. It's filled with Photoshop pictures of me and Jungkook. I mean, footballs. But I can definitely remove a football and put a doll there. There's definitely probably more Easter eggs in the music video that I haven't personally found yet. Something I didn't catch or didn't really speak about or something that no one is really speaking about. Definitely if you have the time, you have to go over to the music video and kind of rewatch it and make sure you kind of look for all these moments. You'll have to see, you'll have to let me know what you think. I believe the three that I brought up were the more popular and kind of more obvious theories. Also the ones that make more sense to me. I don't know if this was a stretch. I personally don't think it was a stretch. It feels correct. I don't know, do you think it was a stretch? Do you think it was a stretch to say that Big Hit it was behind all this and trying to push the dolls. Maybe there are some moments in the music video that feel like a little bit of a stretch, but still make sense. I want to hear those and your theories as well on that. Let me know what you think. Leave it all down in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and feature in this comment right here. Thank you so much for leaving comments. And as always, I do have a Patreon if you would like to kind of contribute back to this channel, kind of help make the videos a little bit better here and kind of keep me going. So thank you so much for going ahead and doing that and checking it out. You can also get exclusive content on my Patreon, such as music video reactions, performance reactions, and ship reactions, all that on my Patreon. I'll leave a link in the top description down below so you can check it out. There's also two videos that will pop up on screen at the end of this video. So please make sure you go check it out and I will see you over there. Bye.